They are so good that they appear as dumb. Yo people, what's up? I'm back with Spice and Wolf episode 24 review so let's wolf into it. At first we see Lawrence, Hollow, Evan, and Elsa make their way through Terrio Village's secret underground exit. Evan is worried the villagers might catch them, while Lawrence is slightly concerned the path could lead to a dead end. However, they reach a cliff and notice some items and Evan's home nearby. Evan deduces that the underground area was a hole Lord Trio dug for hibernation. Elsa provides some details about the area, and Hollow suggests they head toward the river. The cave kinda confirms that there was a supernatural snake that helped Terrio from the shadows, and the cave being secretly connected to the church proves that the snake was on pretty good terms with the church. Next we see that in the forest, Hollow insists they head to Enverge Town first, believing it will help them understand the situation. She tells Elsa and Evan to turn around as she prepares to transform, warning that if they show fear, she'll devour them. After Hollow transforms, the group continues through the forest. Upon reaching the halfway point, they take a break. While resting, Lawrence hears something and investigates, finding several Enverge troops. Evan joins him and asks Hollow to kill the troops, but Lawrence advises against it. He suggests going to Kimerson to avoid danger and make a plan. They then spot a high-ranking Enverge church member with the troops, and Lawrence concludes they intend to label the village as pagan. I agree with Lawrence, it would be pretty dumb if Terrio went to war against Enverge, because Hollow and Lawrence won't stay with them forever, and Terrio has no chance of winning without their help. Moving on we see Lawrence and Evan return to their resting spot, where Lawrence suggests they keep moving and find a place for breakfast. As they continue through the forest, Elsa asks Hollow if she's a god. Hollow explains that people regarded her as a god because of what she's done for them. Elsa accepts this and vows to carry on Father Franz's legacy. She then announces her decision to return to Terrio to fulfill her duties and help the villagers. Evan confronts Lawrence about Elsa's choice, and Lawrence offers him advice, explaining what Elsa wants him to accomplish. I can understand why Elsa decided to go back, because most people are very attached to their hometowns, and they consider its people as their own kin, so wanting to protect them is sort of a natural instinct. Also I think there's a good chance that Franz was the snake that protected Terrio. We see Evan reflect on everything and then leaves. Hollow pushes Lawrence to the ground, questioning if she was wrong about her judgments. Lawrence offers some reassuring words, and Hollow reverts to her human form. She asks if she could have defeated the moon hunting bear, and Lawrence tells her she wouldn't have. However, he acknowledges that if Hollow had known the bear was still in Yuitsu after she left, she would have returned immediately. They continue discussing the matter until Hollow eventually calms down, wondering if they can do anything to help Elsa, Evan, and the people of Terrio. Hollow is basically feeling guilty that she wasn't there to help her friends and family, which doesn't make sense at all. I mean Hollow is the wise wolf, so she should understand that her people aren't weak even if she is the strongest among them, so her being there wouldn't have changed the outcome. Also it looks like Hollow has a yander aside too. At the end we see Lawrence recalls Hollow's ability to perform miracles and gives her some wheat seeds, which she uses to perform one in front of him. They leave the forest and reunite with Evan and Elsa, returning to the underground exit to discuss Hollow's miracle plan. Elsa outlines how they can perform the miracle for the villagers, and Hollow agrees, even if it means her status would be below Terrio's god. Lawrence takes charge of handling the monetary negotiations for their plan. Meanwhile, Hollow senses Enverch's troops nearby, and Elsa begins to pray. This was just straight up dumb from Lawrence and Hollow. I mean most of the people from Terrio wanted to put the blame on Lawrence and Hollow, and throw them under the bus, yet they are still trying to help those people. I honestly don't like this sort of goodness. Nonetheless, this was a pretty interesting episode that showed us a new side of Hollow's character. Anyways thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. 
Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep me motivated to make more videos, and you can also leave a comment if you want to say something, because it helps me fight the almighty YouTube algorithm, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description, until then see ya.